hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to paint some floral backgrounds with some one stroke flowers and leaves and some new styles so right side uh, is something that i'm going to paint with the loose style and the left side i'm going to paint uh, with the one stroke technique i have covered my sheet with the masking tape and divided into two different section so this is single sheet and i have divided this with the help of masking tape so let's start with the first one so first one is one stroke technique and i'm using size 8 round brush i like to use bigger brush so that i can paint smaller and bigger things both so if you don't have control over a big brush you can use smaller brush as well so i'm using purple uh, color so i have mixed a little hint of violet and pink also in this so you can directly use purple color it's totally up to you then i'm creating two strokes like this to create a single pattern so you just need to push your brush a little bit and then move your brush accordingly as per your petal shape so one stroke two stroke creates a single petal so this is our main flower we are going to create few more i am keeping both the background quite simple so that even beginner can paint these uh, background easily and uh, let's add the ovary of the flower once your previous petal gets dried you can do some overlapping and add some more petals so i'm adding more petals between two petals and then little dots of red i'm thinking to create the ovary of the petal with some other color but let's see now the for the second flower i'm using two color technique so i have filled my brush with the yellow color and at the tip of my brush i have used orange color so that i can get both the colors in my petals so as you can see we can see the yellow color and orange color both so let's create two flower with different perspective so i'm keeping the perspective little different as compared to the first flower that we have and keep a negative space in between for the ovary of the flower create one more like this so i'm using same technique i have loaded two colors one one is yellow and another is orange my brush is filled with yellow color and tip of my brush is orange so that i can get both the colors at the same time not so difficult flower to paint you can paint this easily now in the negative space i'm adding red color and little dots of black to make ovary of the flower so this floral background is totally up to you like how you want to create the composition where you want to place your flowers where you want to place your leaves and those kind of things what kind of structure of flower you want what kind of leaves you want it's totally up to you you can easily uh, manipulate all these uh, uh, background pattern easily based on your taste and based on your choices so i have added one more flower uh, like we did in the first one so these are our main flowers now let's add some leaves so first color i'm using deep green color and i'm adding leaves like this one leaf has multiple single stroke leaves in it let's create one more you just push your brush and move your brush towards left right as per your need and create leaves like this now let's create few one stroke leaves with the help of uh, sap green color so this time i'm creating single one stroke leaves these are single leaves so i'm adding here and there randomly Now 
now with the help of uh, yellow green color so i have mixed yellow and green together i am creating little different kind of leaf here so i'm going to add three four leaves like this so these are my leaves now i'm thinking to add some uh, filler flowers so my filler flowers are like two petals like this it's quite simple with the pink color so i'm adding two petal flowers like this and uh, with the help of red color i'm going to add few other simple flowers these are very simple flower you can paint this easily i am using the tip of my brush to create these small small flowers you can use smaller brush as well now let's add few smaller leaves just to fill the area and add some foliage if you want to so for the leaves i have used only green color different shades of green color you can also use brown color uh, or brown shade or uh, autumn shades as well for the leaves adding more foliage and we are quite done with the first uh, floral background just add few more leaves here and there to just finish this one and now sprinkle some color around this so i'm sprinkling yellow and red color for now this is quite optional you if, if you don't want to sprinkle color then just leave let's start with the second one for the second one i'm using wet on wet technique so wet on your sheet thoroughly like go back and forth multiple time with the brush and uh, wet on your sheet and sprinkle some colors so i'm sprinkling purple color first and then yellow color you can sprinkle whatever color you like red color now green color also sprinkle little concentrated color of white so white color is absolutely important which i feel so sprinkle some white color as well or you can also sprinkle some clean water you will get a special effect in your canvas so that is what you can do now my sheet is still quite wet so on the wet sheet itself i am adding leaf structure like this so some some leaves are quite visible some might not be visible because the sheet is quite wet so that's the motive because we want to keep some leaves in the contrast and some leaf in the foreground so you can consider it as some leaves are visible to you some are not some flowers are visible to you some are not so as we already have background with full of flowers so we don't need to add much flowers in this so i'm adding few leaves with different shades these are very simple leaf structure so i'm using deep green and sap green for the leaves and then pink color for the flowers so i'm going to add 3 4 main flowers because we already have multiple flowers in the background so just add 3 4 main flowers in the foreground the flower structure is quite simple i'm not keeping it fancy just very simple flowers the 
the upper area is quite dry now so i can add one flower here to make it little more visible as compared to the other flower and add stems you can avoid adding stems you can simply create few other flowers in between so this is totally up to you should also add some flower fillers as well so i'm adding yellow color flower with five petals very simple flower so add these flowers randomly in between to finish on this one and slowly remove your masking tape so we are done with both the floral background hope you have liked this video i'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video